In Colonial Heights, a pedestrian is dead after being hit by a car early this morning. The incident, which police say was not a hit and run, shut down Temple Avenue for hours. CBS 6's Brendan King is at the scene now with details and the very latest on the investigation. Brendan? You know, all morning, Cheryl, here in Colonial Heights, we've watched their major crash team investigate for more than five hours, collecting evidence, taking photos. We'll look behind me here. There is still a police presence here in Colonial Heights. The eastbound lanes of Temple Avenue remain closed to traffic, but it does appear detectives are wrapping up. But listen, I am told that these types of deadly crashes do not happen often in Colonial Heights. The last pedestrian killed by a car in this city was back in 2019 and now today. Crime scene tape wraps Temple Avenue, blocking Wednesday morning traffic from this major Colonial Heights thoroughfare for hours. We have Temple Avenue closed from South Park Boulevard to Conduit Road. Major Rob Ruxer was one of the first to arrive. At approximately 620 this morning, we received a call for a vehicle crash involving a pedestrian. We determined that a vehicle traveling eastbound on Temple Avenue struck a pedestrian who was in the eastbound lanes. Ruxer says the driver involved stopped after impact. A four-door Toyota with a smashed windshield sits near evidence markers and the victim's belongings flung across the pavement. Investigators confirm the victim is an adult, not a student that some parents feared. Both our middle school and our high school are located on Conduit Road. This is approximately the middle point between those two schools. And we can confirm that this is not a student who was struck here. So we wanted to uh, uh, just allay the fears of any parents uh, because we have received some calls about uh, whether this could be a student or not. Well, as far as the identity of the victim, I am told that they will be released to the public once the next of kin is notified. And Cheryl, I hope you'll join me in sending our condolences to the victim's friends and family. Working for you in Colonial Heights, I'm Brendan King, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Brendan.